published in the 21st century by Microlitha saw just so you can see your agreement to come in peace is what makes this a safe place for all of us to breathe. <laughs> Super, Lutza. We start with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you six questions about your experience before having started the program, the Ad Talk walkthrough, in 35 days, and your participation in that working with me. Super. Right on. So the first question is, when you first became aware of the Ad Talk walkthrough in 35 days, why did you find it important to dedicate your energy toward this? Um, I found it important because it literally seemed like the answer to to a question I couldn't solve before. Uh, I it, I came to a life, part of my life where I knew I needed to be I wanted to be more visible and come out of hiding, and that's when this you literally found me. So I was like, wow, that's exactly what I need. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, it's perfect. Does that answer time. your question? Hmm? Yeah. Maybe maybe you can go more into why it was important for you to address that need at that time, like what you were struggling through. Because um, I recognize that there is a lot of shame still that I cannot, I don't have access access to which is attached to my appearance or something to do with being visible. And so I'm hiding behind a layer, like a really thick layer of shame and like mis, um, misinterpreting my, like what it means to be visible. Um, and like I'm losing myself when I become visible. So this that I'm actually allowed with awareness documentation to be with myself like be the receptor, like receiving myself as I'm being visible, I really honestly couldn't imagine a safer way to come out of hiding because, yeah, first I realized, like, you know, you you and the program had me realize first I want and need to be seen by me, even when I feel ashamed or um, or any kind of emotion. Mm -hmm. And the less rest I don't care so much about, like, then I, the safety will come from that. Like, mm -hmm. safety when I'm visible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And how long did it actually take you to take action toward doing the Ad Talk walkthrough in 35 days? Uh... I think, I think a couple of weeks, like two two weeks or three weeks. Mm, sweet. What was some of the self talk and some of the doubts that you had in yourself prior to taking action? Like in myself. Your self talk, your inner dialogue, right? And your doubts uh -huh. that you had in yourself prior to taking action. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I definitely have had, I took part in many programs. So there was definitely the part of me was like, come on, like, why do you need something like, like uh, another, yet another tool? I had already have a lot and blah, blah, blah. But this was truly different. Like this was truly different from all the rest I've ever experienced. Um, what other doubt? I really mm, like safety. Like, will it be safe for me to do this? Because I really needed a lot of courage to do this because I have a lot of fear. Blah blah blah. Like, like really hiding is my my default state so coming out of that mm -hmm. i need to make sure that i'm going to be with a safe person within a sane safe what did i say not a sane and safe person <laughs> within a safe container <laughs> and 
you know, I didn't know you before, so. And I didn't understand fully the program before. So I, I, I understood the concept more when we started, like exactly how it looks like and how well thought out it is. Mm, mm. Super. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Prior to participating in the Ad Talk walkthrough in 35 days, what fears did you have in the program itself that may have kept you from moving forward? The program itself. Uh, um, like, it's a pre-consumption of my own. I don't know, it's like my story of attaching uh, being visible to superficiality and like using it to get away from ourselves somehow. So I doubted like how deep, like I didn't know if the program is going to go deep, deep and to towards authenticity always or not or the other direction, like it can be, it really depends on the person who is creating a modality like this and who, like the intention of the program. Um, like, is it gonna be good? Like I understood that the tool sounds good, the idea sounds good, but is it going to be, you know, used in a, in a, like, um, uh, I'm looking for a word. Um, it's okay. English isn't your first language. <laughs> what is the other word for graceful? Like, like integrity. Like, is it going to be done with integrity? And, and I, I find that, um, I find that it is. But it's like a huge question because there is, again, in my head, there is a lot of space where. With the camera, people in general, I think these days go away from authenticity. So that's the norm, I think. So right. I find it refreshing to use it completely differently and com to use it for authenticity. I find it super refreshing and and uh, like it gives me hope and like it's yeah. Got it. So the fear was embedded in the potential of moving in the direction of inauthenticity when filming yourself. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I can see how people could perceive that. Okay. And if there were a magnet or something that attracted you to the product or service that helped you overcome the resistance within you to take action, what would that be? the magnet that have you overcome. overcome the resistance of the well the, well your <laughs> responses like your responses huh because i i think i wrote you and you responded oh and i could feel i could feel your energy better when you responded so that helped um yeah for me that's like really crucial to have uh to be able to get in touch with you or like any program creator in the, so that i can really feel their energy and who they are before i sign up got it totally understand okay yeah and well, at the end of the day, it does come down to you. You're selling and sharing yourself. So and by all means, okay. What was it that was unexpected that came up when you were starting to use the process? Uh, 
unexpected. I mean, not all of it was fucking unexpected. Like. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little window uh, into the unknown, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I really didn't think that it's going to have the power that it has. I, I really doesn't. I really, I really didn't think that I'm going to be like, I'm not going to stop it, even if you tell me to like <laughs> you know like i'm not gonna stop making the recordings every day if you need even if it's like over or whatever like that's unexpected mm. so it's like becomes became necessary every day part of my life and and i really didn't expect that i'm going to have i'm going to so fast and so a really fast like experience um compassion towards myself and love as i'm watching myself on the video like mm. to really ha create intimate connection with myself and to realize how what i have been looking for all my life is actually i can um i can experience it and i can stop running after out outwards like i can go inwards and like the amount of self-love then that can happen that's like super surprising like the intimacy and just compassion towards this person that i'm watching on the video which is me splendid <laughs> that was really good I'm really happy I got to ask that last question. <laughs> it's like the transition from the recall before and then going into mm. next endeavor. Right on. Thank you, Lutza. You're welcome. Gonna go ahead and end that recording. <laughs> okay. Welcome, welcome, Lutza. Thanks for taking the time and participating in the program with me. My pleasure. Absolutely. I'm going to ask you five questions about your past and your present experience with this program and how you feel about all of it after having been through some of the process of it. Okay. Number one, for the Ad Talk walkthrough in 35 days, what fears did you have about signing up for the program? Mm. Well, I had the fear of uh, what if I'm not going to be able to do it, but I have it. Yeah, because it was challenging. So for me to, yeah, what if I'm not doing it right? I don't know. Basically those kind of fears, the basic fears. Can you expand upon what would go wrong? I have put on a lot of different faces in my life when I was in public and I was a very different person. I have been a very different person, not public, like, like you know, when I'm alone. So... And authenticity is a high value for me. And I just knew that I'm not gonna like, you know, it's like part of me expects me to be authentic, but I knew that I cannot be. So yeah, it's um, just very vulnerable process. And a lot of, I don't know, part of me was afraid that I'm gonna do it wrong somehow. Not, not, I'm not, not sure how, but like wrong. Hmm. Okay. Then here's a follow-up question. What do you think this program targets and is a catalyst for change for really well? Okay. From my personal perspective, I think it should be like almost every woman who does this on the planet because we have so much disassociation from our faces and our image and our beauty and our person, like, such a distortion of how we see our 
physical like features and like we see ourselves as in broken mirror so i for me that's like one of the heartwarming processes that it helped me with the pro like the program helped me how is helping me with that like to getting to know my own face looking at my face being with my face even if it's in um uh, all kinds of not necessarily not necessarily beautiful emotions like that's already a judgment which i learned obviously we we all learn and that's what that i think it's very powerful to teach me as a woman to love myself with my physical together with that and to integrate my features into my identity mm. the integration of your features into your identity i like the sound of that sounds just right <laughs> Okay. Mm. So then what process did you use to select me to help you? If there was one. <clears throat> process. Um, intuition. And then uh, asking questions from you. And then speaking with you and feeling how I feel in my body like am I excited about I was very conscious like about am I excited about this or am I just pushing myself through yet another self-development because I've done so many of those and ah, ah. Um, and I needed to be excited about it okay and so what was, what did I do differently I felt like that it's gonna be a do like a doing course. It's not it's going to focus on life, like relive life today, right now. And and it's not gonna be I needed a course where I don't it's not like okay, so there is a course and afterwards, you know, you will live differently and things will happen and I I really enjoyed your energy because i felt that yeah it's gonna be alive this is gonna be we are going to sh share a part of our journey basically with everyone who is involved you know hmm. active information yeah. Hmm. yeah revitalizing okay yeah. so how did i yeah. handle the process for you <laughs> You handled it really well. I enjoyed it. I'm really satisfied. Could you describe that? Um, like going to detail in how good you are, or <laughs> yeah, sure, or bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah I think I don't know I think you created a safe safe enough space which is but also playful I think you I love that you focus a lot on connection and the importance of importance of connection and even between us like if we have issues for example, <laughs> that we can talk about it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I found it super important that you talk about that at the very beginning, like in the getting to know each other meeting, mm -hmm. that you said that, uh, you know, there will be potential, I don't know, maybe, uh, clashes, I don't know how to say that, like dis disagreements or whatever, and that we can go through those so that to find everyone you know that everyone is okay like that this is a this is an intention for you for me that was super important because you have a community mindset and I'm learning that and I find it also very important in my life and yeah mm. 
-hmm. and I had lots of value from the like immense amount of value from the personal when you were reviewing my videos that was like super healing for me on like a one-on-one -on -one coaching coaching way level so that's what th those are the things that I would highlight right now I think thank you for that mm. okay and why would you recommend me <laughs> I mean, I mean, for all these things that I just like literally nonstop said, <laughs> because I already spoke, I already spoke about this actually to three of my friends, this tech, no more like anyone, because I'm doing it every day and I'm so excited about it and I'm trying to explain it to people and. Okay. So yeah. what do you tell them? <laughs> If you were to tell them like why you would recommend me, then what did you tell them? Or what would you tell them? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay. I need to think for a moment. They don't know anything about me. No. Nah. Because you are real, I think I think you are refreshingly real, easy. Like you are real, I I like that you are like I like that energy and easy. And what else? Okay, for me personally, it was time in my life to to like I never had a man mentor for for good reason. I never chose one and i never thought i was ready for that so i would you know from my perspective and to my friends i would say that that's potentially super healing to be seen by a man and yourself like you know part of the healing for me was from the fact that you are a man and you are able to and care to even see me and receive me and you know, talk about things with me. So I would recommend that aspect, but I know that you don't have, like, you know, it's like a given for you, so it's not, but being a safe man is active work and, and you know, it's very priceless. You, I don't know if you know that. Well... The whole program is very much focused on providing a container, right? A container for you to freely, truly express yourself. So if I can provide that so that you can have an outlet for your being, then that is very much what I would love to encourage you to do. So it makes sense that you would say such a nice thing. <laughs> Not many, not many people have that, you know, male or female. It's a need. Not many people have what safe container that they can be able to truly freely express themselves in. Yeah. Yes. Especially the guidance as for how to be able to express themselves truly, accurately, freely. Yes. In a way that makes sense. That has a direction, has a name. And so when they do get the chance, they just lay all the problems out before somebody and <laughs> yeah. with expectations that don't align with the reality, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, that happens often. I can recognize that because there is a lot of people in pain. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback. You're welcome. You can ask more questions. I'm just, I just need a tissue. Do you have more questions? No. Not today. Okay. Hello. My name is Michael Earth Osada. 
Thank you for coming into my life. I'm an unshakable optimist who believes in the future connection of a multicultural experience and our ability to build it together. My why is to inspire people to be emotionally free so we can truly express ourselves, be understood, and live in harmony. My mission is to shatter the image of degradation and replace it with the mode for developing opportunity. I leave people in emotional freedom by helping them find self-awareness so they can experience a holy, complete life of bliss with an emotional intelligence. 30 steps to live a purpose-driven life is a pyramid beginning from the outside. Your first step is inside. Inside is your awareness to find. You must get to the top of the climb if you want the answers to your mind.